Before I start uh, recording the iPad, I would like to give you a brief demonstration and, and show you what we got here with the program. Uh, this is what is going to give you the orientation, you know, either portrait or landscape mode. Uh, here we can add another page to our, our, our book. And, well, the rest is only, uh, you know, basically text box, shapes, tables. Uh, this is for the widgets, uh, the preview, publish it, and... The inspector. I mean, if you are used to Kino programs, iWeb especially, uh, I, I used to work a lot with iWeb, and this is very, very similar. Okay, so I mean, as I said, uh, at the very top we have here, which is going to be the cover of your book. Okay, so the only thing I did here is just basically create a PNG uh, document and just. Uh, Click it and drag it uh, over there. I mean, as you see here, I'm gonna make a preview of it, uh, and that's that's the that's basically what we have for the for the book cover. Okay. So then, for the intermedia, uh, you want to have an M4B file. Uh, I will be doing a tutorial so for all the edge, uh, I mean for all the widgets. Uh, I wanted to do it in one video, but it's gonna be too too long. So uh, I just gonna divide uh, each widget and each video, so I can show you. Uh, I mean, I will show you how to convert as well um, these videos uh, from iMovie if you work with iMovie. I mean, you can also uh, download another. Uh, programs just to convert the video whatever video you might have already okay and then we have here the table of contents um, same thing uh, what I did I just uh, drag <clears throat> or, uh, the PNG file and make it uh, make it look better than just have uh, the the titles here okay and then we have the glossary and after that uh, we're gonna have this is our pages already, okay? So I created a list of, of the widgets that we have here. I mean, as you see, as you see here, we have the HTML widget, we have the keynote presentation, we have the interactive uh, image, and we have the interactive galleries, uh, the 3D images, uh, the media, and the chapter reviews, okay? So, I mean, <clears throat> I have all of this, uh, and now I'm gonna go to the iPad, uh, and I'm gonna show you how they work. And then uh, I will do a video on how to make uh, you know each of them work, and hopefully uh, you can learn uh, from the videos. Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording here uh, the computer, and I'm gonna stop uh, start recording the the iPad. Okay. Okay, so we are here with the iPad. Um, we're gonna unlock it, and the first thing you're gonna do in order to make a preview, have a preview from the computer. To the iPad is that you're gonna go to the Apple Store, and you're gonna download a a app which is called iBooks. I mean, as you see, it's already installed, so that's the reason why I won't install it. So remember, in order to make a preview, get a preview from the computer, iBooks needs to be open. Okay, so as you see, in this case, iBooks is open. So I'm gonna show you all the widgets uh, when they are working. And so you can take a look and you let me know what do you think, okay? Uh, hold on, let me go to the library so you can see everything. I mean, as you see here, uh, this is the the image that we prepared for the for the cover, and then it start loading, and that's that's the the video, the intro video. Sorry, that's the only the only one I have. Okay. After it after it went, uh, it goes through the to the intro video. Uh, it will take you to the table of contents, uh, which is this one right here. I mean, as you see here, all the uh, pages that we have here are on the table of contents. Uh, and the same thing with the I did with the with, with the books cover. I only put the the file over there, the picture, so it doesn't look like white white everywhere okay so let's start with the html widget uh, the html widget is basically uh, <clears throat> i create uh, this widget with a, a program called hype and then um, i change the the folder's name and make it as a widget so i can uh, i mean i will show you how how i did it so as you see here i mean it's a starting welcome to my ibooks to uh, through tutorial and well, I explains it explains everything, and then 
that's the screenshot that I took from from the from the app uh, from, from the apartment itself. Okay, so let's learn more. I mean, as you see, I've created an HTML project and make it as a widget uh, to put into the iBox widgets box. This process can make your iBox book uh, looks even better and more professional, setting you up, setting you apart from the others with the use of a little extra work. Okay, well, so that's an example of a widget. Uh, uh, to be honest, I mean, that's almost the same as a keynote presentation. So I mean, I don't see why uh, I will use it. But I wanted to know how to do it. Okay, so this is uh, an example of the keynote presentation. Okay, so as you see here, uh, I I tell. I mean, I can also uh, in the, with the program I can show also the the arrows and, and let the people know uh, you know that they can manipulate it. But uh, I don't. I, I just wanted to hide that, and instead I just click uh, put uh, the instructions there. Okay, uh, the good, the other thing is that it can go bigger, so I will make it bigger, and then as you see, click on the picture to watch the next image, uh, and that's uh, that's a keynote presentation. Uh, when I uh, tap on it, it's basically if, if I'm doing it on the computer, making a click. Okay, so I program the uh, keynote program to to do this. Okay. So as you see, uh, every time, I mean, I can always do it, uh, you know, automatically, but the other thing is why do it automatically? I mean, you want the people to interact with the, with the, with the book, okay? So, I mean, other than that, I can put a video instead of a keynote presentation, okay? So you see, that's the keynote presentation. Uh, now we're gonna go to interactive uh, image. Uh, as you see, I spell it wrong, but it doesn't matter. It's only an example. Um, what it does is basically, I mean, I see this helpful for like a human's body uh, stuff. Uh, I don't know. I mean, whatever you want to show uh, people uh, in close. Okay. So here, as you see, add a video intro. Uh, intro to your blog uh, to your iBooks project okay so I mean at, at this point you don't see it right but um, if you click it it will it will go farther uh, it will zoom in okay so that's that's this uh, widget okay so basically that's what it is uh, it zoom into whatever you want uh, whatever the place you want on the pictures okay so the interactive galleries is basically all your all the pictures that you have uh, on your uh, I mean whatever the pictures you want uh, you can notice that you can put it uh, in center uh, the captions you can put them on the side you can put it on the right hand side you can put it, put them uh, uh, whatever you want okay so same thing they can go they can go here just one by one or they can make it bigger if they want Okay. And as you see below an example of an interactive gallery and it keeps them the the caption whatever the captions captions uh, and that's uh, that's about it for the image uh, the galleries okay so now we go to the 3d images okay so as you see here uh, it is working properly and I would say it will be good uh, for people that is selling things or something like that showing uh what they got i mean as you see here uh everything responds to the movement of your finger okay uh notice that you're gonna need a that d a e file or colada uh file okay so i mean on my tutorial i will show you uh, what i did where did i get those files because i don't know how to do them but i mean just to give you an example okay so let's move on and let's go to the media. Uh, same thing as I told you with the intro movie, you're going to need an M4B file. Okay. And I will show you how, how I did it uh, in iMovie. I mean, you can use convert, uh, software converter or something like that, but uh, I did it in, in iMovie. Okay. So that's important. M4B file, uh, MOB file, it won't be, uh, you won't be able to put it in. 
Okay, so just to that's a video review that uh, that I did for my iPod case. Case, uh, I will leave the link in the description below. You're gonna go check it out. Okay, so then the chapter review. What have you learned so far? Okay, uh, how many widgets do do we have in iBooks? Okay, so I'm just gonna click one, and I'm gonna check the answer, and that's that's wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna give it another try. How many widgets we have in iBooks? Okay, I know that they are seven. Check answer. Clear answer. Okay, so that uh, that means that I'm I'm learning. Okay, what's the necessary file for a movie? That mob, that wm, that mpeg4. Check answer. Oh no. Okay, try again. M4B. Check answer. Correct. Okay. What's the price of iBooks app? Forty dollars. Check answer. Nope. Try again. Twenty dollars. Check answer. No. Try again. Seventy dollars. Try again. Free. Yeah. Clear answer. So yeah, that's it. Uh, basically, uh, this is my. This is what I have been working on uh, for the couple days, and this is what, what I have learned so far. So as I said, I will do a video for each, uh, you know, HTML. I wanted to do it, uh, everything together, but this is going to be just too much. Okay, so the image gallery, as I was explaining to you, um, it can go bigger, full. Uh, the interactive image the keynote presentation and well basically that's it the rest uh, I guess is gonna be simple for you guys to do it okay I hope you like this video and if you like it give it a thumbs up uh, comment rate and subscribe thank you so much have a good day